Should your race influence the kind of health care you receive? It depends on how you and your doctor understand the word race. To help us figure out what place our race should have in medicine, let's follow Brian as he visits Dr. B for a checkup. Now, if Dr. B thinks race is biological, she'll view Brian's race as an important biological factor that influences his health. This approach is called racialized or race-based medicine. However, Dr. B understands that race is socially defined, which means that it's a concept that's been created by society. That means that Brian's race can't biologically influence his health. Importantly, Dr. B also understands the difference between race and ancestry. Brian's genetic ancestry, or the regions where his ancestors came from, can influence his risk of some diseases. But Dr. B can't tell Brian's ancestry just by looking at his race. So if Dr. B understands that race is not biological, does this mean she ignores Brian's race when she treats him? Not necessarily, because race is a social reality. Racism and discrimination can affect Brian's health. This is where race-conscious medicine can be extremely useful. Doctors who practice race-conscious medicine consider the social, environmental, and political factors that impact a patient's health, as well as the influence of systemic racism. Let's look at an example. Some doctors think that certain races are more at risk of diabetes because of their genes. But diabetes, specifically type 2 diabetes, is mostly caused by a lack of access to healthy food, good health care, and safe outdoor spaces to exercise in. When screening Brian for diabetes, Dr. B asks about his diet, especially if he eats a lot of processed and high sugar foods. She also asked about other things that could influence his diet and physical activity, like the neighborhood he lives in, the type of job he has, and his stress levels. That's because doctors who practice race-conscious medicine look beyond individual habits. They also examine the systemic factors that affect patients' health. This includes systemic racism, which is when laws and policies deliberately oppress certain groups of people. For example, because of past housing policies, neighborhoods where many black, Hispanic, and indigenous people live often don't have safe outdoor spaces, good health care, or grocery stores that sell healthy food. These factors make some racial groups more at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It has nothing to do with their biology. That's why it's important to take a race-conscious approach to medicine at all levels of health care. When scientists examine racial barriers in their research, doctors like Dr. B gain a clearer understanding of how systemic factors impact the health of their patients. It's also important that Dr. B advocates for anti-racist policies within the healthcare system. She points out racial biases that she notices and reflects on her own practices. Race-conscious medicine understands that racism, not race, is a key determinant of health. It encourages doctors to pay attention to the social, environmental, and political barriers that affect the health outcomes of marginalized communities. Moving towards race-conscious medicine and away from racialized medicine is critical if we want an equitable healthcare system that benefits all people.